Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. Be earnest and unweary and steadfast in your prayer life, being both alert and intent in your praying with thanksgiving. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, be unceasing in prayer, praying preservedly. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 18, keep praying for us, for we are convinced that we have a good, clear conscience that we want to walk uprightly and, and live a, a noble life, acting honorably, completely honest in all things. I don't want you, but we need to pray unceasingly. We need to pray about everything, no matter how small it is. If it's your job or if it's a president of the United States, we need to continue to pray for, for him and that he will do what's right according to the Constitution, according to the biblical principles this country is founded on. And you know our president's trying to get rid of our conscience. We, we can't get rid of our conscience. It's always there. It's, our, it's always telling us right from wrong. We need to put God first in all things. We need to continually pray for our president, our leaders who, who were voted in. This country was based on godly principles. We need to put God first in all things, praying unceasingly, loving our neighbors as ourselves, helping us to know what's right and what's wrong. God is always there for us. Remember, no matter how small our, our, our troubles are, God wants us to pray and pray unceasingly. Pray for the morning time you get up in the morning and continually throughout the day. Little prayers, and it don't have to be big either. God does want big, word, wordy prayers. Just a simple prayer. God, help me with this. Help me find my car keys. Help me find this or that. God is always there because he knows where everything is. Help us to put God first in everything we do and say. There's nothing like God. He wants us to pray. He wants us to continually pray. And we need more prayer. It's the only way this country will survive and if we put God first. So keep on praying. Keep on loving your neighbors as yourself. No matter what, pray. This prayer in God is the only way we can save this city of Flint. Keep on praying. Keep on looking up. Because God is coming back. Jesus is coming back. And he wants his place. He wants his believers reigning for him. Are you reigning?